It may look like these runners are just warming up, but these athletes have already run 20 miles at this point, and many will run five times that. On March 4th, the Terrain Trail Runners hosted the Queenie Backyard Ultra Marathon. The winner is the last person standing. Shalini Bajan is the race director. Concept is really simple. The loop's about 4.25 miles, um, and it's the last person standing, whether that's a guy or a girl. And as long as there are two people duking it out, the race continues to carry on. We started at noon, um, and we are what? 4.30 right now, so we've got two drops, but most everybody else is staying strong. The runners must complete the loop every hour, and if they finish early, they get a break in between the next lap. Bajan says that during these breaks, the runners eat and drink as much as they can to keep going. With this, we don't really have aid, so they bring in their own food, uh, and that, you know, can be anything from, um, you know, mashed potatoes, soup, you know, things, just easy carb, carbs, if you will. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, last year we had, when we got into the mornings, I know we made a run to McDonald's, so people were eating Big Macs, you know. So, I mean, it, it just depends on where your stomach is and what it's gonna let you eat. Angela McKnight is one of the race's co-directors and is also participating in the event. She explains how she's been preparing for the ultra. Uh, I've just been out here doing loops, um, just getting used to the course. Really, it's, I mean, it's not how fast you can do a loop, it's who's going to stay awake. Some of the participants will be running through the night for over 24 hours. McKnight says it takes more than physical strength to get through the race. Your mind definitely starts playing tricks on you. It takes a lot of um, mental power to kind of get you through it, to like keep you going and say, hey, don't lay down, you don't need to sleep. Um, that's definitely something I've had problems with in the past is I get really tired. Last year's race winner, Tim Barbie, returned this year to run the race again. He describes what it was like to complete 105.1 miles in 25 hours in the race last year. Probably one of the most difficult races because you run and then you have to stop and usually it's kind of hard because your body starts to shut down after you sit. So I tried not to sit so much. Barbie says his goal for this year is just to keep going. I mean, there's a few guys out here that think that give me a run for my money. So uh, usually after midnight, that's when you start seeing who's really gonna stick it out. And uh, you really don't see who's really left until the sun starts coming up next morning because it kind of becomes a blur. But whether he wins or not, Barbie says one of the main reasons he is running this race is the terrain trail runners community. All these people I know them all, and it's, it's an awesome community. We, we're like one big family, and see them. One of the main reasons why I come to these races is so I can see them. You know, so yeah, it's an awesome community. The 2022 Queenie Backyard Ultra went on for 26 hours, with Tim Barbie winning the race at 109.2 miles. Angela McKnight was the last woman running and finished at 63 miles. For Living St. Louis, I'm Veronica Moheski.